I was gonna say, uh, I know you 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 said you said in your in your I guess your season predictions that you you saw Calgary coming out of the coming out of the West, and I guess mm-hmm. to sort of speaking back on your time in Calgary, I know you had the luxury of being able to cover a Jerome again, who in my opinion is the most skilled Black NHL player of all time, and just the way he went about doing it, he was the ultimate profession professional fought on the ice like he was like again la got me and especially that la cavalier fight oh man he, man. Cup he is a legend final so like uh, in your opinion like what what was it what was it like covering him first of all and like what did it mean for you as your actually like your first reporting job to, to be able to cover a drone again that was actually very cool for me because here i was like i was the only you know person of color at the sault saint marie um station I was at MCTV I was one of maybe a handful maybe one or two of three you know black guys down at Syracuse mm-hmm. out of you know it was a master's class there was there was 44 students and there wasn't that many visible minorities there as well so I'd already I'd always you know been in this environment where you kind of feel like oh I'm the only guy here or whatever uh, then when I got to Calgary, and yeah, Jerome was there, and, and I thought that was pretty cool. And he was a young guy just cutting his teeth. I was a young guy cutting my teeth, and you know his career went quite well, and I'm still plugging away. But uh, it was great to watch him and the maturation. I was only in Calgary for that one season, mm-hmm. but I've you know kept in touch with Jerome, and I've seen him throughout the years, and it's amazed. Uh, you knew there was some greatness in his game even at that young time. He was in his, I believe, second or third year when I got there. And uh, just a consummate professional leader. And there was someone who always just rose above all the, yeah. the issues he had to face. And he had to face much more issues than, than I did. You know, he was a very public, uh, you know, person, uh, more so than me and in a different environment than me. Uh, and I'm sure he put up with a lot of, a lot of difficult moments, but he's risen above it. And, and you know, he's a Hall of Famer. It's, it's tremendous to see uh, what's happened with him. And it was, it wasn't, you know, Jonas being there and sort of saying, Oh, there's another guy I kind of look like. (laughs) (laughs) Right. It always helps. 